Welcome. Thank you for joining me this evening. I'm Tony Cameron, and I'd like to show you a little bit about my culture. September 16th, 1999, in the Azores, I was coming home from school wearing my favorite shirt to a surprise birthday party. I got Pokemon cards, some books, a Halloween costume, and we had the best vanilla cake ever. It was just the perfect day. I had no idea a moment like that would help shape my future. And since that day, I have gravitated towards the same style of shirt. Short sleeve t-shirt with trim on the collar and sleeves. And for the past 13 years, I have had practical application of fashion, so I can attest to the power of a garment. While some argue that fashion is nothing but clothes, it has been proven to define history, influence today, and help shape tomorrow. I'm going to show you how we, can, how we are able to associate clothing with a significant event, as well as how it can evoke emotion. And when you think of the Roaring Twenties, what do you think of? Drop waist dresses, launching the pearls, finger finger waved bobs, and headbands. And who here remembers the assassination of J JFK? And who here remembers what Jackie O was wearing? A pink suit. See how Jackie O's pink suit has helped us pinpoint a moment in time. These are connections. These connections are formed because the brain is using something as subtle as fashion to help us reference past events in our lives. On an interview, for example, dressing well and standing out leads to feeling good, being more confident, and as a result, making you more memorable to the employer. Our clothing choice has been directly linked to our mood. Someone who's feeling sad or angry, they tend to wear more comfy clothes and darker subdued colors. As opposed to someone who's feeling great, they will wear something more flattering and in brighter co colors. Which brings me back to my favorite shirt when I was seven. I loved it because I felt great wearing it. It fit well and it made me feel invincible. On a bad day, just putting it on would turn my mood right around. Maybe had I not been wearing that shirt, I would not have remembered that day so vividly. But it's because I did, I can, it was so significant to me that it still influences my choices today. When I allowed fashion into my life, I found a part of myself that I didn't know was there. The confidence that was found in myself has contributed to me getting out of my shell and as a result, growing as a person. It has granted me a creative outlet, and which brings me so, so much joy. So while some argue that fashion is nothing but mere clothes, take a look at history again, and form an opinion for yourself. A, a simple garment can incite emotion, and history can always be associated with fashion. Whether you like it or not, unintended. Our feelings, memories, and identities are wrapped in the sweater we call life. Thank you so much, and I hope you guys can enjoy that. Thank you for watching. And Mr. Macon, if you have any tips or any improvements, please let me know. Thank you.